Hola and welcome to Lindita's Kitchen. I am Lindita and today we have a wonderful show for you. We've got a couple things going on. So I'm gonna get started right away, okay? Because uh, we're doing some Mexican picadillo, but before we go there, we're gonna start out with our beans. Now our beans, I kind of already started them because they are wonderful. It's a, it's a compliment to this dish. And you know, so all you'll need for that is one pound of your pinto beans, okay? And then your salt pork. And I use about half of this, and that's about six ounces. And you'll need a half a teaspoon of the cumin. And for this full recipe, you can go to linditasalsa.com and go to Fideo Loco, and you'll learn how to kind of prepare it, how to clean it, and do all that. So just go to my website, like I said, linditasalsa.com and cooking shows and you'll go right to Fideo Loco and we'll go, you'll, you'll get started on that. So we're gonna put this aside because like I said, we've got an action-packed day here for you. All right, and the roasted tomatillo salsa. This is so delicious and it goes so well with this. So what I've gone ahead and done is I've already cored my, my Roma tomatoes. So you're gonna need two, and you're gonna need about four to five you know, the, the tomatillos. And the tomatillos actually come just like this. You know, they have a little skin on there. And so what you wanna do is just peel it off like that, and then you wanna core it. So I'm gonna wash it off a little bit, okay? Just because it's kinda sticky, and that's all you need to do. I'm gonna wipe this down a little bit, okay? And then you wanna just core out the center. And it's got other ingredients, but I'll show you that later, okay? So you're just coring it, I see. We're gonna put these on this tray and I'm gonna pop them in the oven, okay? So let's go do it. So now we've got our oven set at 400. It's been preheating and cooking. So we're gonna pop these in for about 18 to 20 minutes, give or take, okay? And this is a good time to maybe start here. I'm gonna turn this up a little bit. Get it nice and warm. And let's check on our beans real quick to see how they're doing. And they have been cooking for about an hour and a half. As you can see, the, the pork is in there. We're gonna add our two cloves. Oh yeah. And you always wanna keep a little bit of water on the side because you don't want your beans to get dry, okay? All right. So, now for our meat, it's been warming up a little bit. We've got one pound of the ground beef. And you know, this is a good time to just go ahead and just break it up a little bit. We'll get that going. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, you can hear it sizzling. You really don't need any oil in here because of the, you know, the juices of the, the meat will provide that for us. Okay. Okay, just go at it. Just break it up. So right now we have it like at a medium heat. I'm gonna wash my hands here real quick. And we'll go ahead and cover it up. And we'll let it just cook up a little bit and we'll get our our vegetables cooking here, cutting and cooking. Okay, as you saw, we have our beans already cooking. They're on a low simmer right now. I threw in my, my cloves. Mm, they're gonna get nice and juicy and soft. And my meat, it is browning, and I did turn it down while I'm doing this next step. And of course, this is what you're gonna need for this recipe. You need one potato, some onion, carrot, and tomatoes. So let's get chopping here. So you're gonna need one whole. I love these, I love potatoes. So what you wanna do is I just kinda go around a little circle. This is how I do it, to cut them up and then cube them, okay? So, what do you want? And if they're big, you just wanna chop them down a little bit more. Just cut them down a little bit. So that's what you, okay? Like this one right here, you wanna just cube it up a little bit more. And if you want them really small, that's totally up to you. Because you know what, this is also your recipe. 
You know, I always say on my shows, you know, make it your own. Have fun with it. You know, so if you like them big, yeah, leave them that way. And if you want them a little smaller, cut them up. Just dice them up. Okay, so una papa, one potato, is what you're going to need. And then um, I'm going to just go ahead and just toss this in my bowl here. Get them out of the way. And then we're going to start out with our onion. Now, you'll need about a quarter of a cup. So, easy peasy. Not too bad. I know we all have different ways of cutting our onions, but I, you know, I'm comfortable with this. And this is a bigger dice. You don't really need that much. So it's going to be like two. Right there. That's all you need for this. Cut them up a little bit more. Voila! Because all this is going to go together here in a few. All right, and then let's just put our onion over here. These always have a tendency to like jump out at you. <laughs> Jumping onions. Okay, and then we've got one carrot. Now you can go ahead and do the same thing. You can cut it in half, or you can just go, just dice it up. And I did, I didn't, what I did is I just washed them really good. Okay, my mother used to say, use the whole thing. Don't take all the nutrients out. I don't know. But, you know, you learn from your mother, right? And what I've done to kind of make it look cute, too, is I'll quarter them or just have them, you know. And the potatoes and the, the carrots will cook around the same time. So, you know, and this is color and it's got flavor. Ay, ay, ay. I'm going to start singing La Bamba here in a little bit. <laughs> no, I won't. I won't put you through that. Okay, you don't want that end. So we're going to go ahead and toss these in. And then our Roma tomatoes. You're going to need two. Two. You can take off the little head if you want. And again, just once. Want them nice, nicely diced. I'll just do the bottom here. And you know, if you have like your garden tomatoes, go ahead and use those. You know, it's I, I'm using this for this recipe and it's fun. It's they're real juicy. And like cabecita, like you can core it or you just cut it right off. Well, that knife is sharp. I better be careful here. You know what can happen. <laughs> uh-huh. And I like these kind of on the bigger chunk. You know, you don't need to get them really small either. Okay, this will all go together. Beautiful. I see. Oh, one got away there. Okay, and then two of our cloves. And again, we're gonna go ahead and, um, I'll just go ahead and put it up on top here. Two cloves, you can mince these, you know, finely chopped. Totally your call. And like I always say on my shows, when I have cloves, I always use my mocajete. And we'll toss that in as the meat cooks. Mm-hmm. Ta-da! Like I said, this is a good time to start dancing. We're going to add a little water. Mix it all up. And let's take it over to the stove and toss it in. So these are done. Yep, 20 minutes. Oh, yay, nice and juicy. And this is exactly what you want. So we're going to go ahead and set these aside and let them chill for a little bit. Let them cool off. Okay. And then here are beans. Of course, they've been... They've been going to town here. I threw in my clothes. They are ready to turn off. It's been about 20 minutes, so total time is about two hours, okay? And then, again, your clothes, what they'll do is they'll, you can mash them up a little bit and just move them around. Everything is done. Perfect. Okay, we're going to move it right over. I know this is a lot, but, you know, it's going to be fun. I'm going to turn this up a little bit because I turned it down take the lid off. You don't need to remove 
the juice at all. So the meat is pretty much done. I'll just cook it up a little bit more. I was covered, so yeah. Want to keep the juices flowing. Oh yeah, let me turn off my oven here because it's all done. Okay, so this is cooking. What we want to do is go ahead and add our spices. So I've got a half a teaspoon of the oregano. Want to sprinkle in. Half a teaspoon of the ground cumin. Get all these aromas going. Oh yeah, yeah. And one teaspoon of salt. And I use the table salt for this. And I'm gonna go ahead and just use my black pepper. And I love pepper, so I'm gonna go for it, right? <laughs> oh. Yep. I'm gonna stir it up a little bit here, break it all up. Yum, yum, yum. Get all the spices flowing. And now we're gonna go ahead and add all our veggies that we just chopped up. Potatoes, carrots, and tomatoes. Give it a nice stir. And then we're gonna add, if you don't have a beef stock, you can just go ahead and add water, a cup of water. and bring it to a medium heat for right now. Nice. Okay. And we're gonna put a cover on it. Yay. Yum, yum. Now, let's get started on Chabelita's rice. And of course, this is gonna cook for about 20, 25 minutes. You'll, you'll be able to taste it. You know, it's different also let me just give you a pointer because I have gas. So if you have electric, the time is going to vary. So you'll know. So let's just say 25 minutes. We'll give it. So our timer just went off. And this is what it's supposed to look like after 25 minutes. But, you know, your range, it may be longer, you know. So it just depends if you have gas or electric. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just cover it up. I've already turned it down. I'm gonna cover it up and I'm gonna just transport it over here because I'm gonna get ready for my rice. Chabelitas. Okay, we'll just let it just chill out. Now, we're gonna come over here. We're gonna start our rice. So I'm gonna just bring up the heat a little bit. Yeah, nice. We're gonna add one tablespoon of, you can use a canola oil or olive. And I'm using the olive oil. So we'll get that nice and warm. And everybody's got their own little recipe. Nothing is, you know what I mean? You play with it. I have my own, my Chabelita has, my mom. And this is a traditional um, rice recipe, Spanish rice. So you're gonna need one cup of the long grain rice. Long grain, so you're gonna sprinkle it in. I know, we have different variations of, you know, rice, so of making it, recipes. So what you want to do is just get everything coated up nice. I'm going to turn it up a little bit more. Yeah, we'll get this, get this going. And we're going to brown it up. You'll see what I'm talking about. You don't want to burn it, so you got to keep stirring it up a little bit. As you can see, you got to keep moving it around. You want it where it's not, you don't want to burn it, that's for sure, but this is a good time to add the onion to it as well. And I used, it's about a quarter of a, no, it's a half a cup of onion. And I used that half onion, you know, that I used in my other recipe. <laughs> so I went ahead and just diced it up. So we want to get our, our rice in there and just kind of golden brown. And this recipe, like I said, is my sister, Chabelita, Maria Isabel. Yep, 
we all have our own little versions of different types of rice and this is this is my sister's and it's delicious as well can never go wrong you're in popping yeah that mean it's cooking it's at the right temperature and like I said I just it's a medium dice here we go so all right, now we're gonna go ahead and add our water. Now the water, you need to have real, real warm water for this recipe, okay? And you know, it's hot. So you have to also be careful when you put it in because it will bubble up. Yeah. We're gonna need about three cups of water. I'm going to set some aside for right now and then we're going to go ahead and add our spices. So we're going to add a half a teaspoon of the cumin, the ground cumin. And then a teaspoon of the um, the garlic powder. And then the nor. I'm using a tablespoon of the nor. The nor is great because it's already got the tomato base and it's got some other uh, spices in there. So you want to just go ahead and sprinkle that in. Mm-hmm. We'll give it a stir here. Oh yeah. Bien sabroso. And you can add, you know, if you want to add a little dash of pimienta, a little pepper. Go for it. And I love peppers, so I'm gonna go for it. And then just add just maybe a little um, cilantro, and we'll add some more later too. This will cook into it, and it'll get it nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and add the rest of the water here. I'm gonna cover it, and that's gonna cook for about 18 to 20 minutes as well. Okay, so I'm gonna lower the heat down a little bit more to a simmer, and we're gonna cover it. Mm-hmm, let it cook up. Okay, so our beans are done, our picadillo is done, our rice is almost done, and this is the last part of it. This is the roasted tomatillo salsa. Like I said, we had everything in the oven, and it's nice and cooked. It's kind of like room temperature right now. So what we want to do is go ahead and, we know we're going to go ahead and toss it into our blender. And you want all the juices as well. You don't have to do anything else. Yeah. Get all of it in there. Mm-hmm. All of it. <laughs> okay. Then we're going to use one clove. And of course, everything's going to get in there. But I like to kind of cut it up a little bit. Just a little, just it's no big deal. And then we'll just toss those in there. One clove is what you'll need. And a jalapeno. Now the jalapeno, of course, you're gonna need all of it. Because we're not, we're just gonna take the little cabecita off, just like that. Put it aside and just go ahead and just, because it's gonna get uh, in the blender, it's gonna go all oh, so good. It's gonna be so juicy, you're gonna just see it. You're gonna taste it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then, of course, you're just going to use kosher salt. Just a dash, okay? So I'm just going to right, like that. E and one lime. We're going to do it the Enchita's way. We're going to go ahead and just squeeze it. There's no seeds in there, right? They'll get blended if they do. <laughs> so you just need one, one lime. Mm. The aromas in here are incredible. Oh, they're going to be like that at your house, too. I'm just saying. It's gonna be amazing. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Is your mouth watering? Oh, okay, mine is. <laughs> Cause I know. Ay, ay, ay. Woo! It's hot in here. It's gonna get nice and blended. So we're gonna let me put this on the right way. And we're gonna just zap it. So you do want it on a, on a pulse. You wanna pulse it on low. You want it a little chunky. 
Ah, uh, keep it going, baby. Yeah. I think, oh, I don't know. Let me just see. I'm gonna take a quick peek, okay? Just to make sure. Oh, <laughs> woo! I just got that jalapeno in there. So even if you like it um, a little hotter, just go ahead and add another one. Remember, don't take the seeds out either. No need for that because you want it nice and spicy. And that's, you know, like I said, I'm gonna just zap it one more time and that's it. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's do it. Come on, E. Okay, that was one and a half. Perfect. So now I'm gonna take this out and we're gonna just put it on a bowl here. Cause what you wanna do is refrigerate this for a little bit and we'll get everything going. We'll check on our rice. Oh, oh, oh. yes. You'll be singing La Bamba. Mira, how beautiful is that? Ay, ay, ay. Mm. Okay. So now we're going to go and uh, we're going to put this in the fridge for a little bit. Let it chill for a little bit. We're going to check on our rice. Okay? Let's do it. Ooh la la. Our rice is done. You know, I, this is a good time to just turn it off. It did cook for about 20 minutes. I did check on it and I did add a little bit more liquid to it, but that's all you need. And it's gonna finish the cooking by just putting the lid on and just cracking it just like that. And it's ready to go. So now let's just serve it up. Mira mis amigos, it is all done. And look how fabulous it looks. It's gonna be so delicious. I'm telling you, when you put this in your mouth, you're just gonna just taste all the love. And I just wanna do, first of all, before anything, a thank you to my sister, Chabelita. Chabela, um, Chabelita, Maria Isabel. Well, you know what? She's gonna be coming out and doing some shows with me. So hang tight because she's got some good recipes as well that we've shared together. And as you saw how easy this was, you know, our beans, our bean recipe, you know, you can go right to, you know, my website, linditasalsa.com and just go to the cooking shows right on the website and it'll take you right there to Fideo Local. And it'll walk you, we will walk you right through everything you need to do. And again, you know, the picadillo. Oh, how beautiful this is. It's so tasty. And it's such a comfort food, you know. We all have our own recipes and you know, you can add your own to it. Give it a little kick that you want, you know, make it your own. You know, I'm just showcasing what we, what I grew up with. And you know, it's a favorite in my family as well. Like I said, that arroz, mm -mm, Chabelita, you did it, man. And we all, like I said, have our own little twist. So make it your twist too. And you know how easy was also our tomate, our roasted tomatillo salsa. You can have it, serve it up as your salsa. You can put it over your plate, you know, on your meat, your beans. It goes with everything and it's so delicious. And of course, I have this little Mexican Parmesan, you know, and you just want to sprinkle a little bit on there. Or you could use queso fresco. You know, it's totally up to you what you have in the fridge. So, you know, look how easy this was. You know, it just takes a little time. And just putting in a little bit of your, your heart and soul to it. And you know what? Everybody's going to taste the love once you make these. And again, you know, you can go to our website to get all our recipes to linditasalsa.com. And I want to do a little shout out to my friends that are really helping me out here stay in shape. You know, Bosma Fitness, Dance Fitness, you, you got me going here. I'm feeling it. And you know, of course, Nick's Garden Center. Thank you, and they're there, and they're there all year round. And they just provide the best for all of us. So you need to stop in there and check them out too. And so I just wanna say to all my friends, thank you for writing in as well and, and sharing my recipes. This is what makes it all so special, no? And, and I love cooking for you. So until next time, mis amigos, you enjoy y salud.